Hi everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Legal Big. The show where we dive into the dynamic world of law, justice and everything in between. I am Arushi Jain joined by my esteemed partner at Chambers of Jain and Kumar Mr. Yojit Parekh. And together we'll be your guides through the intricacies of the legal landscape. Get ready to explore fascinating cases, discuss the latest legal trends, and maybe even uncover a few behind the scenes stories from our own experiences. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Good afternoon, Arushi. Today we are discussing about how artificial intelligence is affecting the legal profession. The debate surrounding whether AI can replace lawyers is a complex and ongoing one. However, we aren't here to tell you whether AI can replace human lawyers in foreseeable future, but after much brainstorming and over time with multiple discussion across the globe, we called out few instances where an interface like ChatGPT can be detrimental if not used without caution and with adequate human intervention. It's important to note that AI can be a valuable tool for lawyers, enhancing their capabilities and improving efficiency. However, the human touch, emotional intelligence, ethical considerations, and complex judgment required in the legal profession make it unlikely for AI to fully replace human lawyers. In summary, while AI systems like ChatGPT can assist in generating text, relying solely on them for contract drafting presents risks due to lack of legal expertise, contextual understanding, and potential for ambiguous language. It's crucial to involve human lawyers who possess necessary legal knowledge and experience to ensure the contract's accuracy, enforceability and protection of parties' interest. You're absolutely right, Arushi. Top of the form, other day I was chatting with a startup founder who very confidently had mentioned about drafting contracts through ChatGPT. However, a few days later he returned to us and realized that he relied solely on AI for drafting. and that resulted in certain errors omissions and there was inclusions of unforeseeable provisions causing him to receive a complete red line document from the counterparty further arshi chat gpt while capable of generating text does not possess the legal expertise and knowledge required for drafting a comprehensive and accurate contract contracts involve complex legal principles specific language and consideration of potential legal ramifications drafting a contract requires a deep understanding of the parties involved their intentions and the specific circumstances surrounding the agreement and the deal absolutely yojit also while chat gpt can create automated responses to simple legal questions it cannot comprehend more complex concepts or interpret case law this lack of understanding could lead to inaccurate or incomplete advice or even incorrect pleadings which may result in dismissal or rejection of a case which can eventually open doors to questions of professional misconduct by lawyers arushi you rightly raised the point regarding usage of ai for the court of law in any jurisdiction if there is a lawyer in india that uses chat gpt or similar ai for case law identification for citation or supporting his or her argument the possibility of chat gpt furnishing fake cases exists as the algorithm is built in a way that it assumes the existence of some documents links cases which are similar to pre-existing ones This could lead to courts taking the issue as one of misleading the court, which is highly sensitive and detrimental to a person's case. Do you remember Yojit? We keep seeing instances where lawyers across the world are using ChatGPT, and we know ChatGPT does not itself understand the concept of overruling a case by a superior court. There can be instances where ChatGPT has suggested a precedent without knowing that the case has been overruled and is not settled law now. Unless the lawyer checks it independently, he or she will not be able to be certain about its validity. So ChatGPT can land the lawyer in a tough spot during court proceedings. Law evolves over time with new statutes, regulations, legal precedents shaping its interpretation. ChatGPT relies on existing data and may not be up to date with latest legal developments. Failing to incorporate recent changes into contract can render it ineffective or expose the parties to unforeseen risks. ChatGPT is only trained till certain time period, as per multiple sources, so it is not capable of furnishing the most latest information and does not keep itself updated till it is updated by the tech team. 
So amendments in law can be missed by advocates if using application for research or argument formation in a particular case. Thus, wrong provisions or outdated laws being recommended is also quite a possibility. So, Yojit, do you understand the entire effect it may have? You are right, Arushi. AI systems cannot provide legal advice, guidance, or consider the unique circumstances of each party. Consulting with a qualified human lawyer is essential to ensure the contract meets legal requirements and protects the party's rights. ChatGPT may pick up papers published by other lawyers and suggest similar language or point to you when prompted with a question in research and that can raise questions surrounding copyright in some cases. ChatGPT does not automatically reveal its source of information and not everyone knows to ask it from the same. So this is another legal issue that has the possibility of arising. So do you want to hear this interesting instance, Yojit? Yes, for sure, Arushi. A lawyer for a man suing an airline in a routine personal injury suit used ChatGPT. This was to prepare a filing, but the AI bot delivered fake cases that the attorney then presented to the court, prompting the judge to weigh sanctions against the lawyer. Further, I'll tell you another instance. In case of copyright infringements happening due to responses generated by ChatGPT, you're the one who'll become responsible. OpenAI confirm in their terms and conditions that all rights, titles, interests in relation to responses are assigned to the user. It is also important to note that responses generated by ChatGPT derive from existing works. There is a danger that a user may unknowingly infringe existing copyright if they were to publish chat GPT response, which is similar. Further, the terms of use provided by OpenAI also waive all liability for any damages arising from the use of chat GPT and state that responses are provided without any warranty that the output will be accurate or fit for the purpose. The terms further state that liability, if any, is capped at the greater of $100 or the amount paid for the service in last 12 months. Do you know what that means, Yojit? This means there is little to no recourse against OpenAI if there is an error in its output resulting in a claim for damages. So, Arushi, do you think we can conclude the benefits of AI such as ChatGPT presents opportunities for organizations and lawyers but it is important for individual and organizations to be aware of the potential risks. Though there, may are, there are many uses for AI systems like ChatGPT, users should exercise caution, fact-check and cross-reference the information generated. It is important to ensure that the content being generated does not infringe on the rights of others and to obtain permissions or a license when necessary. In fact, Yojit, uh, funnily, after end of each response, ChatGPT itself says it is important to consult with an experienced attorney who can evaluate the details of your situation and advise you on the best course of action. Funnily, that's true, Arushi. And uh, I think uh, caution is what is necessary when you use any AI for your content, for your case laws, for your contracts. And do not forget to consult a human lawyer.